Hey Vector, who is LJP Tech YouTuber? Of course he doesn't know me. Hello everyone, so this video is dedicated to those who have been my loyal followers on this YouTube channel from day one regards to this vector robot here. So I managed to set it up as you can see. So I want to share this joy with you. So let's get on with it, shall we? So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to actually reset vector and the way how you do this is double click on it, hands up, hands down, and then you can use the wheel to format it, to reset it hands up and hands down and if it says clear user data you do the wheel again and confirm hands up hands down so it's going to be rebooting so we're going to start from scratch to show you how it works All right so as you can see the uh, digital dream lab logo and animation is popping in to vector so as you can see the vector is now ready to be initiated so first thing you need to do is you go to the vector app on the android side by the way is that if you click on it you'll see the information and then if you go to the um let's scroll down in storage section if you click on it make sure you actually clear the um, data so clear data and clear the uh, other data as well so this is all in default format first off okay so that's all done and then let's go back to vector and then you just need to log in okay and then i'll go for uk english and then it says place vector onto the actual uh, charging dock and then continue and then let's log in as well so allow for this all by the way if you're not actually too concerned about the data breach and so on so i'm going to log in so it should be automatically detecting a vector so as you can see it has detected a new vector with four different codes and then you have to press twice and then it will give you the figure on the screen which in this case is 584361 and then connect okay so you're going to get this and i'm sure most of you have actually come to this stage so far and then you need to then log into your wi-fi now before you log into the wi-fi please note double check make sure that your internet supports the internet connection that you're going to be connected is 2.5 gigahertz not 5 or something like that so 2.5 make sure you do it so i'm going to log in to my network and so on and this is the case where many of you are in a loop situation where this is trying to you know get connected okay now here's the ultimate solution for you when you're on this stage simply you press this button for 15 seconds and you will notice the lighting will be changing here so we'll zoom right in just don't be shy keep pressing and probably at some point we're gonna see some sort of like a blue light of a gauge appearing and then it will automatically turn off by itself okay so you can see the screen has gone off and then you can see that light popping up okay so that's soon gonna change so let's be patient well here you go so that's two blue lights popping up keep pressing it for 15 seconds more than 15 seconds so this has to disappear after you press it automatically. There you go. So it took longer than I thought, but it's worth it. So let it restart. And then let's do the same procedure once again. So you close your Vector app, log into Vector, okay? Oh, again, before we do that, make sure you actually clear all the storage as well. So we're going to go to storage again and delete all the data that is available on this app. Okay, so clear all the data, press this, delete and delete. All cleared and let's log in again with the Vectors app. So here we are again. Let's go UK English. 
place it on the charger. Let's log in. So let's connect it now. And it says press button twice. Okay, so I'm going to type in the number that's been given, which is 855068. And let's connect. So find the network again. So you can see that it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. So we're already in a promise sign of uh, getting connected. So let's paste this. And then it says vector is now connected to the Wi-Fi. Can you see that? Okay, so I believe I have updated um, this software and vector early on. So let's press the continue. So you're going to get this update vector. And it's updating. So this is going to take about five to 10 minutes, I believe. And you can see the same symbol of um, the cloud being synchronized, update and so on. So that's how it works. So you're going to make sure you press more than 15 seconds, let it shut down until it does and then do it all over again. That 15 seconds is most crucial thing, okay? So once you actually have um, updated the first side of the uh, vector, you can see the screen says restarting vector, okay? And now the DDL cloud animation appears. Um, and this hopefully is not gonna take too long. So we're almost there, people. So if you have come this far, well done. There you go. Now you might actually panic a bit saying that, oh, are we going back to the original? But don't worry. So let's connect twice again. I've got to do this a few times, I guess, three times at least based on my video. Okay, so it says the vector is now updated to the version of 2.0.1. So you just need to press continue. And then it's going to ask you, like the um, preference on Fahrenheit or Celsius. I like Celsius, not inches and centimeters. Clock 20, 12 hours, well, 24 hours, I think. And then you press continue. Now you gotta make sure um, you got your cube as well, I think, or maybe not. You could just wait for the cloud to be ready and then you just need to press continue. So let's press continue. So here we have it, folks. Welcome back, Vector. So all these menus are available. So utilities, if you got what's the weather, change color, eye of stuff. Uh, I'm just not gonna go through every single bit because this video mainly is focusing on how to set it up. But if you guys want it, I'm just gonna give you a quick sort of screenshot well, what's happening it's pretty much the same as the old one i think interaction is pretty much the same robot information as well and so on so i hope this video helped you to set up vector but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for being my loyal followers for a very long time i really appreciate you guys you guys are the best anyway all the best see you soon Bye-bye.